And in the paint now, we are with the two Avengers, Tehran, Avenger 1, and Keelan, Avenger 2. And today we'll take in the NBA, um, the, the first week in the NBA. Uh, so, Keelan, tell me, in the West, what do you see out there in the West? Well, um, on the last um, podcast, apparently, um, an OKC fan told me that I should not diss their team, and they proceeded to go on three to start the season. So, um, you know, that's not, oh. not really... <laughs> obviously, obviously, he, he's... I, well, okay, let's... let's yeah, Mr. Darren Heard. So, <laughs> so um, all right, so up top, well, not up top, well, supposedly up top, the Lakers... Having a little bit of a shaky start, you know, Westbrook. Yeah, yeah, they were playing a lot. <laughs> yeah, they were playing um some some um not basketball, it looked more like rugby. <laughs> yeah, he seems a little bit out of control. Only averaging twelve points, eight rebounds. Sorry, eight assists and seven rebounds, but shooting thirty five percent from the field and nine percent from three. So you know, he can throw. A rock into the ocean if he was on a boat right now. So he he is struggling right now. But you know, on the flip side, Brown is actually doing really well. They say Curry impacting has impacted the league with the three point shooting. Well, Brown taking his 10 threes a game. So he he let them fly. But he's shooting 48% from three. So that's good. At least this early. Yeah, you know, early start. You know, it might cut eight more so they will come back down to her, but it's it's still a good start. Um, the LA team, them them struggling too. Them is one two. Uh, they lost some close games, but you know, not a great start. But as you say, early in the season. Um. So who else that we got to talk about? Um. Um. I got like a team of the week. Team of the week. Um. Warriors. Three and oh. Ten has a ten has a very great start. I don't think they're the only team that won three games in the um in the West. So you know they obviously got with the team of the week. Uh, they played the two LA teams who they beat upon, and then they played the Kings last night. We can get a, a fairly comfortable win in the end. Um they went uh, when they know second the honorable mention goes to the Nuggets. They were two and oh, you know. So I mean, if you got undefeated, you have a pretty good chance of contending for the team of the week. And my player of the week in the Western Conference, well, he came from the team of the week, Steph Curry. I mean, like he had forty five points the other day at twenty five points in one quarter and then miss. It was too easy. So those are my um Player of the week and team of the week. Um, I don't mention for player of the week, John Morant. He actually averaged 35 points. 35 by eight. And he had a good game against the um Lakers last night. He had 40 and 10, even though he just he came up short in the game. But you know, it's an early start for the rest. Not too much to look into. But you know. So I always thought that I was I, I have a feeling that. That Golden State can give some trouble in the West because yeah. um, they are doing so well now. At least there's only three games there, but they are doing yeah. well without Clay Thompson. Yeah. Clay Thompson had um, like he he has a little bee on his bonnet since um, he was not including that 75. 75, yeah. So <laughs> got yeah. another chip on his shoulder. Yeah, when when Clay Thompson comes back, it's going to be, you know, yeah. Warriors will step up another notch. As if a three-time champion needed any more motivation. <laughs> well, I think he has the motivation enough. He, he said on Twitter that he feels disrespected. So yep. we'll see what happens when he returns. It's now, in the East, there are some things happening in the East. You know, East is a lot of drama. Uh, right now, um, Ben Simmons is, you know, beginning to look like one of the Kardashians. Um, because everything around him is drama. So what's happening in the East, Avenger number one? Well, as you just said, it starts, we're going to start with Ben Simmons. We have no idea if he's going to play for them again, but if he is planning to play for, for, if he is planning to play for them again, I think he's making um, 
the right moves in that direction. He's not only come back to team practice, but don't mind he had a little drama after he came out of practice. He, he, he's speaking to the management and the players, and he um, he says he just needs a little time to um, get his mind in the right place if he's going to play. So we have no idea what's going to happen there, but we'll tune in and see. In the meantime, though, Philadelphia does not look good to me as a team. They're sorely missing him on the defensive end. They're not that top-ranked defense anymore. And the offense, I think, as much as people complain about Ben Simmons, he, he is their point guard. He is their starting point guard. And he does do a lot for them. Even though they were um, experimenting with him at four, he was still the one with the ball in his hand all the time. And people like Seth Curry and Tobias don't get looks as easy anymore. And Matisse Tadou has not stepped up and taken the mantle from him. So, um, yeah, that, that uh, team is they're on. Yeah. Not, not a cut y'all, but interestingly enough, somebody who I realize is actually really missing Ben Simmons, Danny Green. Like, he's not, I saw games where he had like zero shot attempts. He's not getting any open looks. Danny um, Green is okay. suffering. Yeah. But let's move on. Um, the next team in the East, again, really disappointing for me. Um, without Kyrie, the Nets just look bad. They were never a good defensive team, but without that, Again, that OP offense, that overpowered offense, they just they don't even look like a threat right now to me, in my opinion. They mm -hmm. as I said, whenever they have to stagger those two stars, one goes off the court and you can just focus on the other, it doesn't look good. And Harding actually does not even look like himself yet. We know he's coming off an injury from the last um season, but he he's not ready. He he looks ready to run and play, but he doesn't look ready to beat James Harden quite yet. KD is still doing his thing, but the Nets are not even looking like a threat at this point in time. Um, but two teams that have been ripping it up in the Eastern Conference are the Bulls and the Charlotte Hornets. Those two teams are, I don't even know how to put it in words. Like The Bulls are just clamping down on people defensively and the Charlotte Hornets, they're they're fifth in pace. I don't know what the other four teams are that are faster than them because those <laughs> those they play fast. They play fast and they're lethal. They're just running at you. And they, they kind of play like the Warriors, in my opinion. And they kind of have uh, one of those flashy playmakers like Curry and Lamelo Ball as well. He he to me he um he gets their pace going, and he he's the one who really um he's the one who really capitalizes on the looks that are created in the frantic. Um, chaos that they create when they run. Um, I'd say that I'd say that between the two, the Bulls and the Charlotte Hornets, my team of the week will have to be Charlotte just because their schedule is a little tougher. I think the Bulls, even though the Bulls do look good, they were playing slightly easier opponents um, in the three games. They're both 3-0. I don't know if I mentioned that. They're both 3-0. But the Bulls kind of had a slightly, um, slightly easier record. So I'm going to say that Charlotte is the team of the week, and the Bulls are the runner-up for me. Uh, who is it, who you say would be the Eastern Conference player that week in your opinion? Uh, I, I honestly have to go with Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges is is totally jumping me with, with how good he's been. Like he's not someone I thought of of making a huge leap offensively and defensively. Like, he was already a good defender, but he looks like a very young, athletic. P.J. Tucker on defense, and he's just scoring all over the place. He's he's he, he's been a monster this first week. So I hope he continues it out. He's so interesting to watch this this week. If I did have a runner up though, in terms of player of the week in the East, the Pacers rookie um, du Duarte, I think that's how you pronounce Duarte. it. Duarte, yeah, he, 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 he's been a surprise. He no, boy, that man looks like he's been in this league. A couple years. He, yeah. He's yes. A nice surprise. Well, he has been but it's, it's interesting, though, that both teams, um, with the Ball Brothers being the point yards. Ah, uh, I didn't uh, realize that, yeah. The, uh, you know, the that. quick teams. And, well, yeah. they had a quick start. But, you know, yeah. usually, um, you know, reality is set in, in a couple more games and then yeah. things will go That's, up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... That is the East and the West. Now, last week we had a uh, pick five. And I must say that um, 
Uh, Avenger number two didn't do very well. He was <laughs> loyalty. While, loyalty. While myself loyalty. And, and Tehran was four or five. Um, so we have um, a combat week. It's a long season, and <laughs> Ila has uh, a lot of um, time to get back. I don't know mm -hmm. yeah, about where, but we'll say that he is. He right now he's trailing, and if he continues at this pace, um, you know he'll be trailing even further. So last week, two to five for Kilan, four to five for myself and and. Avenger number one. Now this week, this week, the pick five. First game on Tuesday is the Sixers versus the Sixers at the net. Knicks, sorry. So who you got? Sixers at the Knicks. Hmm. I'll go for you first, Keelan. Who you got? Sixers at the Knicks. Hmm. No. Sixers at the Knicks. Again, Knicks. Again, Knicks. Again, Knicks. So Keelan go with the Knicks. They're on. They're it's on. It's, it's so tough because the sisters are looking by, but they still have Jordan B. They're still the um, Okay, so you guys sixers? Yeah. You're going with the sixers, yeah. uh, Sarah? <laughs> Hello? Can you not hear me? You're going with the sixers? I think you said next. Oh, you're going with next. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so next. you're going with the next. I will go with the Hello? Sixers. Just so that... Yeah, we can return. Yeah. We have um, some people on the other side. <laughs> he calls on me. <laughs> on Wednesday, Atlanta at New Orleans. Oh, pff, Hawks. I can do what? Hawks. <laughs> uh, Tyrone, you with Hawks too? New Orleans isn't good. I'm going with Hawks as well. <laughs> I'm never picking the Pelicans, sorry. And I will go with the Hawks too. Thursday, Memphis at GSW Golden State Warriors. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm around versus Steph Curry. Who you got, Gerard? I feel like it's crazy to go against Steph Curry, you know, but just to make things interesting, I'm going to go with Memphis. You know why? Because Memphis. I'm around. I'm so, Gerard, go with Memphis. And who you going with, Keelan? Uh, I just stick with, with the, uh, the hot wave that is Steph Curry, and then you go with the Warriors. Okay, so you're going with the Warriors. So, Keelan, going with, I will go with the Warriors as well. Um, on Friday, Charlotte at Miami. Well, I pencil in Tehran. Tehran. <laughs> and Keelan. Um, shoot. That's actually a tough matchup. Um, mm. Are this team in the East versus the best team in the East? <laughs> I mean, right you now, be, between, like, in terms of our roster, between he and, and Buck, so we'll go with two of them as the best teams in the East right now, honestly. But um, actually, I'm going to go Heat, too. You'll go Heat. So you're going to Heat. I, I got a Heat, too. Right? I'm yeah. not going with Charlotte, sorry. Yeah. And on Saturday, Smart Utah and Chicago. Man. Utah and Chicago. That's actually a match that I really want to see. Hmm. Um, Utah and Utah and Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. I will go first. I will, I will go with Chicago. The crazy thing is, right, B, me, uh, me and Tyrone were in a group chat having a discussion about like, who did the Bulls really play at? Like, they look good at take. I, 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 and even Tehran said that this schedule has been a little bit easier. So I really want to see them against a good team to really know how it is. But DeMar, DeRosa is my favorite player, is one of my favorite players. So I'm going to go with the Bulls. You're going with the Bulls. Yeah. After all of that, he's still going with the Bulls. He's still going um, with the Bulls. You go with the Bulls uh, to uh, Tehran, or are you taking Utah? Uh, I, I got to go with the Bulls, man. Their defense looks too rough. Man. Utah actually hasn't been. As, as they're not, I think they started the season kind of slow for them. So, yeah, I think the Bulls are going to take that one. But usually Utah is always starting the season slow, though. They, they yeah, don't they have, just, they, they always just start push. slow. And <laughs> in the middle of the season, they just catch themselves and then move on. I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you, the Avengers, Tehran, King, and Keelan Phillips for In The Paint. And right now, court in session is adjourned.